Hi, I'm Aaliyah and I'm from Artistically Crafted and I'm here at the Art Resin headquarters today and I'm gonna show you how to make alcohol ink coasters. So let's get started. I've chosen this four inch hexagon shape. You can use any shape that you like and this is a non-porous material so the alcohol inks won't get absorbed into the ceramic. Also gonna be using this 99% isopropyl alcohol and that's to allow the inks to move. Here we have our alcohol inks. You can use whatever colors you like. A little bit of mica powder, a little spoon to scoop up the mica powders, a little syringe to pick up the alcohol, a hair dryer to allow the alcohol ink to blend, a little bit of metal leaf, a small paintbrush with the silver leaf. Lastly, we're gonna be using our art resin and that is just gonna complete the poster set and make everything really shiny and beautiful. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is pouring out a little bit of my alcohol into this cup. Get my syringe and just pick up a little bit of that alcohol. It gives me that control that I need and it's just less messy. I'm gonna start with my blue ink and a little bit of purple, okay, and then a little bit of the alcohol. I like to just squeeze it in the areas that I put the ink, just a little drop. And then I'm gonna get the hair dryer and just blow away. So now I can see where it needs more ink and what colors have blended and if I like that, a little bit of purple and just put it where the pink is. Just add that on, blue just in the corner. Some more alcohol. I'm gonna get a little bit more alcohol just to dilute this color a bit more. I want it to be really faded. some mica powder, just to add a little razzle-dazzle. A little goes a long way. And it's done. The mica powder has given a metallic-y lining, so you can see how vibrant that is. I'm going to try to get all of the coasters the same color. If the design, if it doesn't match, that's okay. It'll just be unique to each coaster. And it's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the silver leaf. I'm gonna start from the corner, make a thin line. And I can see where it's wet. So when it dries, it'll be sticky to the touch of lining here and attach it to that line that I had done first. So we're gonna let that dry until it gets sticky and then we can add our silver leaf. I'm gonna just take a few pieces and add it on to the areas that, where I can see the lining, just so I don't waste the leaf. Just add it on with your finger just like that. And I'm just gonna use my finger to remove all the excess and it comes off nice and easy because that adhesive, we waited for it to get nice and sticky. Now I'm gonna add the Krylon spray just to fill the inks in and get it really ready for art resin. And here I've got my hardener and my resin. I've got a cup with measurements on it as a guide and a stir stick. I've got some gloves and I got my torch. Remember that resin and hardener is a one-to-one -one mixture and it's measured by volume, not weight. I use a calculator online and I was told to use four ounces for my coasters and make sure that I'm scraping the sides, I'm scraping the bottom. By mixing slowly, you're less likely to get all those air bubbles in there. I'm ready to go ahead and coat my coasters with resin. Just pushing it to the ends. Be afraid of drips. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and pop those air bubbles. Okay, and we're all done. This just keeps our pieces totally protected from any falling debris. We're gonna leave this overnight for 24 hours and we will come back in the morning and see how they look. See you tomorrow. So let's go ahead and take a look. Wow, 
These are so vibrant. I'm loving how I can see more of the deep blues here, more of the metallics in the mica powder. And I love how the blue just transitions into the purple and the pink. And that metallic lining from the silver leaf is just really vibrant, really making me happy with how that turned out. To complete these coasters, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue at the bottom and add cork to it. So I like to apply the glue. I get my next cork piece and I put the glue on top of that so any glue will fall onto the next one. Squeeze and apply that on and it just looks like that. So you just wanna wait 24 hours for the glue to dry and once that's done, you've got yourself a beautiful set of alcohol ink coasters ready to be used. So we're all done here and we've got ourselves a beautiful four piece coaster set with alcohol inks and resin. And I wanted to thank you all so much for being here with me today. And I wanted to thank Art Resin so much for having me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.